nilikuwa nimeolewa na mtu kutoka Nyanza ilifika mahali maisha ikuwa raisi sababu kuna wakati wa, wa, kuna wakati mmoja watu walikuwa na feel wewe ni kama msaliti ama maybe umeolewa na msaliti azini hakukuwa na ile amani imenipea wasiwasi mpaka saa hii hata saa hii wakianza kusema mambo ya election mwaka election hata sikuangi na amani kwa roho yangu on a Thursday evening of a chilly July, 45-year-old Regina Wamboi is busy performing her evening chores in Nairobi's Nyayo Hairais Estate. The 2007-2008 post-election violence led to the loss of her business she was running with her husband that left their life devastated. So all of a sudden, Duke So he came to I feel like I'm Lefaki mekuja tuwa standstill. Nimejionea vurugu kitokea, nimejionea watu wa kiaga, mambo makubwa ya kifanyika, na mingine pia kiniadhiri mimi, kama vini nimesema, nimeolo upande ule mungine. A few kilometers away in Kariobangi Estate. Faustin Wekesa, now 61, remembers the phone call she received on the fateful night that she was rendered a widow. Nikaona watu wa meja kwa barabara na wengine wanakimbia huko. Sasa mikashindwa, ai ni nini? Nika, nika songirea karibu. Kusonga nikaona kwanza maji riona uyo sumeji yangu. Nguja kuniangukia, ndugu yetu hameua, ndugu yangu hameuliwa. Nidi feind saa hiyo, mbide walitoa hiyo mwiri si kujua, mimi nilichipata niko subitari. Regina and Faustin's ordeals led them to come up with an organization dubbed Come Together for Widows to encourage women afflicted by violence, especially during elections. Letter on the table in the name of building peace in our community. Sabuanu kiangalangale imta, mebaba kabila zote. So tunakikisha, isi kabila zote, mmejaribu kuzileta pamoja, mmefanya vitu ambazo zeneza change the way of thinking ya wa mama hapa hivi tusije tumika na wanasiasa ati sababu maybe ana feel niko pale kwa mlango sana tujeni wapatie 100 ndio kusudi mvuruge mtu fulani hiyo machafuko ya 207 iliumisa wa mama wengi na watoto wengi singependa nione mwenzangu pia ule ako na mzee aumie vile mimi niliumia their efforts saw the organization hold a national women peace conference at Kenyatta International Convention Center that brought together over 1,000 women from all the 47 counties. But I thank God with the time to communicate with the High Rice and to say that peace will come to, maybe to save our marriage and peace will come. And through that, I say, after peace, God blessed me with a baby girl, baby Hope, who is now hope for peace and she is hope for Mboy Ocheng for peace in Kenya before and after election. They called for tolerance during the elections. And I decree and declare, may the peace of God reign in this country. Whereas the election is a periodic event, the effects of electoral related violence may last a lifetime. This calls for sobriety among Kenyans to ensure that lives are not irreparably damaged by such an episodic event. With the fond of painful memories of the traumatizing events still imprinted in the deep souls of mothers affected by post-election violence, the country still has a big gap to fill in terms of implementing measures to support in protecting women and minorities during and after elections. Andrew Kirum for Channel 1 in Nairobi.